How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm in Forest Green, head of the game against Swindon. I'll be in the away end today, supporting the Swindon boys. I'm a neutral at this game, I'm a Brighton fan. But I thought I'd come down to Forest Green to tick off another stadium out of the 92, my 62nd stadium out of the 92, so I'm progressing my way quite well. If you have not already, please follow me on my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, they'll be on the screen now. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. This is quite a local fixture, it's a 12pm kickoff, which does not suit me because let's just take a few clips of my journey up here. So it's 6am. And I'm going to Forest Green. Why am I doing this? There's cows right on the side of the road. I'm trying to make a turn. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Like, I must admit, Forest Green's a nice bit of scenery, but I mean, get, getting to the place, bloody hell, it's a... It's a hassle. Right, so after about 10 years, I've nearly arrived at Forest Green. It's been a one hell of a ride, four hours plus to actually get to Forest Green. I don't know why I'm putting in so much effort to go to this game, but I am because it's a new stadium getting ticked off the list. What is it, my 62nd out of 92. So I'm about two miles away. I can't wait for this game. I'm in the Swindon end today. Uh, so um, hopefully the Swindon boys can get a win. I'm a neutral, so it really doesn't matter. But then again, I want to be in the, in, in the stand when a team wins. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. I've been to watch Swindon once before, and that was a 2-1 win against Exeter, which was a really, really good game. Swindon won, and in that season, they got promoted to League One. So hopefully, if I see this game today, Swindon win, they're going to get promoted. I think that's how it is. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Let's get into the Forest Green Stadium, see what it's all about. And I think they're the vegans or something. So let's just find out and see what Forest Green is about, because I might be waffling. <laughs> Green, Swindon. 1,000, 200 Swindon fans here. Let's hope the Swindon players can make it a day to remember and get a free point. It's four things we win, so it's really sunny as. I'm falling on that side. He's on a bin. He's on a bin. This is class. They've over oversold this. Oversold this all Save. Oh, save to be fair. That's a great shot, great save. Gotta give him credit where it's due. There's even Swindon fans outside with flags. Oh my. Oh! 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 That was close to being an absolute stunner. No way! Oh, nah, nah. This ref needs sucking. Ref needs sucking. He was through. Great goal from Simpson. Literally not make Sweeney. He's getting booked. I'll tell you what, if he went on there, I think that could have been a goal. What's that then? What's that then? What is it then? What? What? This ref is absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. How's he missed? How's he missed? Bucket, yes! What a goal! Yeah! What a goal! What a finish! What a finish 
guys. Swindon keeper, I'm not sure what your name is, mate, but you are magnificent. That was unbelievable. Yeah! Oh, it's 2 0. There it is, here's the winner. Minute. This is literally one of the last kicks of the game, but it's a penalty. Oh, is that a good game? Let's hope we can save this penalty. Yeah! 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 <laughs> he deserves that. He deserves that. Yeah! He's unreal, mate. So that was basically that for a screen. I mean, it was a really nice place, really nice area, a load of mountains and really shite roads. But other than that, I think I had a really good time at Forest Green. Not a fan of all the vegan products they were selling. Obviously, I just want a nice cheeseburger. I want a nice can of proper Coke. They were selling like tin pot versions of these Coke with lemon or lemon and I don't even know what it is, but it was tin pot. I thought it was a really nice, tidy, small ground Forest Green do have. It was a nice gaff, very green. Obviously, green and black is their colours. Forest Green, I mean, I can't <laughs> stay an obvious fact. Aren't I? I think that is one of the worst refereeing performances I've seen for a while, I must admit. A load of shockers. The Swindon away fans weren't very loud in this game. I can't lie to you though, I, I can't blame them because why would you ever segregate a fan base to be uh, just literally along the pitch? Why would you ever do that to that club? I'm sorry, Forest Green, you need to change that immediately. You can't generate any form of atmosphere. And number two, they oversold the fixture. There were so many people who couldn't actually watch the game. Or if they were at the game, they were just standing behind people when they couldn't see over them. There were people standing on bins and I was the last person on my terrace. And there were still people behind me below this little block. And let's not forget to mention the Swindon fans who had to wait about 20, 25 minutes until they were actually in the stadium. There's so many people outside the stadium trying to watch the game because getting in the turnstiles was so slow. One lesson to learn for the next away fans which are going to be coming down to Forest Green is to not, don't oversell your fixture. What was it, you sold 1,200 tickets? Guarantee you should have sold only about 1,000. But nevertheless, it was not all negative as Swindon did win. I, I don't really have a curse. Do I have a curse? I don't know because I was in the away end supporting Swindon for this game and they actually won, which is a rarity. But anyways, boys and girls, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Please comment down in the comment section what game you'd like me to go to next. Next Saturday, I'll be going to Lazio versus Inter Milan. So it's a bit of an upgrade to Forest Green. Please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.